You click original. Wait, 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 wait. Why did you click original instead of versus? Uh, just for arcade mode, I guess. Like, uh, uh, yeah, you can switch stage more easily, I guess, in this mode. Um, between oh, matches. So. Yeah, um, in versus mode, you'd have to like go back to s the characters. You have to like after the match is done, it like prompts you to go back to the character select screen or retry or something, and then you go back and choose like a characters again. Okay. Oh, hey, man. Hello. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Pretty good. I, uh, do you see the, uh, we're doing another net play tournament <laughs> on, uh, September 2nd. Hmm. This is going to be our second time, uh, because we had one before, uh, with, uh, another guy. Those, uh, am I am I interrupting a, a tournament or anything? Or oh no, no, no. This, this <laughs> on, that's on September second. Uh, this is <laughs> this is just casual matches, yeah. Okay. How you been though? I'm good, dude. Oh, I'm just procrastinating on making some videos. Oh okay. <laughs> I I met Charity Tables at Evo. I don't know if they, uh, they mention anything about SDBC, but I taught them how to play like <laughs> the day before, <laughs> and they were in top uh, top six. <laughs> it was awesome. Mm. Um, yeah, Chair was saying that um, you helped them out with the Project Justice uh, stream. Oh right, <laughs> yeah, I had, I had like a I had a portable monitor, so I let them use it for the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, sure. It said like without you, there wouldn't have been a Project Justice stream. Oh shit! Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it was super fun. Evo, Evo was super fun. <clears throat> yeah, man. Oh my god! They tried to stay away from ship damage. <laughs> I guess I should just use like Super Saiyan or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Running really smooth. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh no. I tried to end that. Oh. Damn. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> I thought... <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, watch this game and I don't have to go. My teacher said I'm going back right now. Just now. Oh my god! Oh, I did too early. You're not one of those homing into homing guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just tried to do counter break. Oh my gosh, sometimes it's so hard to land. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> GP, what, what, uh, what player are you? Oh, I'm player one. Okay. Ocean's player two. He recently started playing with, like, uh, Vegeta. And... Well, I think you said both Vegetas? Yeah, I like both Vegetas. <laughs> Before he was playing mostly Goku, I think. Yeah. And also, he's playing a bit of Cell too now. <laughs> <laughs> Counter Break is so funny. Oh, I tried to. I think I didn't actually do it. So wait, is this um, is this the arcade version? 
No, uh, this is a. What do you call it? In 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 the PS2 version, we can use original mode to like do the. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you can use uh, original mode to like do the kind of arcade mode where you press start to like enter in. Hi. Why? You it looked like he was using Cell Super there. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's actually um, it's Vegeta's super, but Cell can get right. it on its tree. Um, yeah, oh, okay. so the thing about Cell is like he just has m access to like moves that some other characters have normally. Like uh, you see this one and dive on it is on uh, Vegeta's skill tree there. Yep. Um, but then like Cell, yeah. Cell also has it on the skill tree just because I guess that's how Cell is. He just <laughs> like he has this move too. Um, uh, what do you call it? Psychokinesis. This is like mm -hmm. Frieza's move. Uh, he like lifts up the rocks. You can get instance transmission too. Right, yeah. Instance transmission is also on this skill tree. It's Goku's move. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But then Cell can also, um, use like the skill drain move so whoever he's fighting against he can get their their like inheritable skill oh no but he can get like he can get like both versions of it though which is from the right. head, which is like crazy yeah when you inherit moves in this game normally you only get the heavy version so okay so that makes sense why like cell might be top tier in general he has yeah, a lot kinda, of things lot that of just make him good. Like, there's those things that are, like, good, and then there's, like, random stuff, like... He he doesn't have hit stop on his homing attack for some reason, like, when he collides with you. So, like, he's generally, like, more safe when he, like, does it on block than other characters, because he doesn't have hit stop. Like, he's already moving away from them. Like, when you do homing attack, I don't know if you noticed, on, on block, um... What do you call it? They bounce away when you, when yeah. you block them. So like, yeah, he like bounces away even sooner. So no good stuff. Um, and then like, I don't know. He, he, his tools in general are just like really good. Like he can. This uh this fireball move he has, he can like, wreck a, and like delay like a lot. So he can like get a full screen like hit confirm into like a super because he has like a projectile super. This thing? Oh, let's see. Let me see if I can. I'll point it out when I find it. Right this one. Oh, well, there's that too. <laughs> Shit. Okay. But, yeah. It reminds me of, um, like, Falcon Super from Power Stone. Oh. Uh, I, I always Power think Stone. of, like, Cable. I can like link the hyper viper beam into itself <laughs> from yeah. full screen. I think like the tiger knees, like the we call it the, the air version of hyper viper beam is like active on frame one or something. Yep. <laughs> like a lot of people just like throw grenades and then just like farm hyper viper <laughs> or like fish for hyper viper. And like I, yeah, I think. <clears throat> yeah, he's, he's like aerial hyper viper, like you said. Yeah, it's ridiculously good. Yeah, it's it's active sooner than his uh, um, his grounded one. Yeah. Does it also like link into itself too? The air version, yeah. You yeah. can like if you keep because you you can like uh jump again, I guess. Um, so you can like kind of tiger me the motion. Right. Ooh. Chip? 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 <laughs> so Chip kills in this game? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I gotta you run can't, out. um, Super Cancels doesn't actually do chip damage, though. Um, so, like, if you do, try to do, like, a fireball into the super and they guard the whole thing, like, your super wouldn't, wouldn't do the chip. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I gotta go to so, uh, so Alright. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, man. See you. Have a good day. See ya. <clears throat> like cells jumping heavy is really good because it's like it's like a hitbox above him so he has like like the light version it's like a hitbox below and then 
is like the hitbox above. It's just like not Rain. Uh, yeah, no characters really have a hitbox hit or jumping normal like that. This one. It's like just random stuff like that. Like that, I, like I was able to hit the homing attack like that. <clears throat> So are you guys still using that, that version of uh, PCSX2 then? Like to run oh, lobbies? Yeah. yeah. Oh! The wall. I didn't notice that. No, I'm curious, are you guys relatively close to each other or? Yeah, we're far. both West Coast. Um, he's in Oregon and yeah. SoCal. So we're on two delay right now, two frame delay. <clears throat> That's not bad. Yeah, it's uh, I would say it's pretty good. Oh! Oh? Oh? <laughs> Sure, sure. They're bumping. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh no, I crossed on my input. No, I fucking biffed my super. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this uh, <clears throat> net play tournament goes relatively smoothly. <laughs> you say it was the, the second one? Yeah. How was the how was the first one? Was it was it rough? It was. I would say kind of at some points. Uh, what do you call it? it? The most of the issues are from people like not reading, like. <laughs> like the instructions, like I gotta have like yeah. some kind of guidelines so that like keep it, you know. That's that's like uh one of the most like I I'll, I'll say with podcasting, like we used to do a lot more news segments with like guests and stuff like that, and we stopped doing it simply because the guests would just not. They would be given the entire docket of the news that we're going to cover, and they just oh. wouldn't read it. They just wouldn't read it. They just really? so we, yeah. There was um, we gave them like, and I would give them like days ahead of time to like let them know what we're covering, Dang. and then yeah, we had like a few guests that would just sort of like, like, hey man, you know, do you want to you want to stay or you know you leave because we're you know we're covering this news or whatever it may be, and it's like we'll stay, and then they just like. Kind of didn't really add anything to the um 
to the news or like conversation. Um. So it just kind of turned into us like not, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is people didn't read. So it's, it's the same <laughs> issue you're running into with like, you know, the whole net play thing. Yeah. I, I feel like it's like a common issue with a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. And I, I get it. I, I've been a... Uh... <laughs> I've been a perpetrator of that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it does make it a bit of like, no. <laughs> well, yeah, it was pretty cool. How many people did you have enter the EVO tournament? EVO, there was, um... I think it was, like, 21 that entered, but then, like, 19 who were able to stay and play. Okay. Um, Dirty Llama had to drop out like mid bracket though, which was kind of unfortunate. Because um, I would have liked to see him play a bit more. He was there last year. Right. <clears throat> and he was using skills this time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> at Evo last that. year, he, he was using like a Goku without skills, which people thought was like pretty funny. I mean, Goku is still like a good character in general, but like yeah, it was still usually a good match. in in general with the skills, it's like there's no reason not to choose them. There, there's only two skills in the in the game that are like actually like a risk to shoot. Yeah. Oh oh oh! I thought getting across up. <clears throat> I still haven't fully like sat down and try to understand the skill system of the game. Oh. I mean, I'm sure it's relatively simple, but like I always see in the arcade, like I was thinking the skills were like an arcade-specific thing. Oh, but um, there's apparently. some differences with what you can do with them. Yeah, on the arcade version, but for the most part, it's like pretty similar. Like there's some very like, like once you kind of learn about it, you'll probably see the differences. Um, so like these, there's the purple skills that are like system skills. It, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like having those grooves in like CVS two with the purple ones because they're like um, there's stuff like super cancel and like guard cancel and stuff that you can like pick and choose between. Mm -hmm. Um, so on the arcade version, so you so you can get you have one that's on your skill tree. Every character has like uh like three that they can choose between on the skill tree, so they get one of them. And then they can inherit one from another, like, player, like, character card that shows mm -hmm. there, that one. So, like, if uh, Goku got one skill on his skill tree, but he only has three on his skill tree, so there's way more than three that are in the game. So, like, Cell has Super Cancel on his, but Goku doesn't. He can inherit Super Cancel from the Cell, um, if they chose it. And then... Um, they can also get a different one from, like, the Wishes, because Shenron has some that aren't on skill trees. So they can get those two. And then, on the PS2 version, they changed it so you can only have two skills. So you can only have one from your skill tree and either one from Shenron or Inherion. Um... It's kind of, uh... I don't know. It's... They added more of those Shenron skills in the PS2 version, but most of them aren't really worth worth it compared to like what you get to inherit. Like most of them are, they're like there's like passive skills in the game, like attack up, attack boost and like defense boost and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, the ones that they added in the PS2 version from Shenron are like system skill versions of the passive skills. So, like, most people don't really want to choose that over, like, like, you know, Super Cancel or something. Yeah. So it's kind of unfortunate that they, um, that they made it, you know, two skills only. But, um... They did, like, uh... I don't know, there's still some, like, kind of cool skill combinations we can come up with with those skills. And then the PS2 version has a bunch of other content that the arcade version doesn't have. 
So I feel like both versions are worth playing. Mm. Um, but you know the arcade version is not really as accessible to people. I feel like uh, for yeah, various reasons. Well, how much is a board? Um, I don't remember like two fifty six. Namco System 256 being that, like, sought after, or, like, or, like, not, it's not, like, an uncommon board either. So, like, I was able to get two of them for, like, I thought it was, like, a hundred, was it, like, a hundred fifty or something? But that was, like, a, like, a couple of years ago now. Um, but, like, uh, maybe the prices are more now, like, all this arcade stuff is more expensive now. Um, but still, I don't think that board is very sought after. Like, it has some good games on it, but it's not like a CPS2 or anything, you know? Mm-hmm. You're familiar with, like, CPS2, like the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that game, that, that, is, that, everyone wants those. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, CPS2, CPS3. Um, yeah, oh I mean, yeah, CBS CBS 3. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna I'm break the wall on like that one. <laughs> basically just for third strike, but yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like the super expensive board that has like three games on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Red Earth, JoJo's, and Third Strike. Or, or, well, the, the series of those games, but yeah, there are three, three series. Okay. Um... But, uh... It, yeah, like, CPS2 is at least, like, you'll get a lot of bang for your buck, you know? Yeah, if you get, like, a multi-cart, definitely. I mean, collecting for that system must be super expensive, though. Like, if you want to, like, get the cartridges. Because those are, uh, not cheap. But, um... Yeah, like, Namco System 256, it had, like... Tekken 5 and Dark Resurrection and Soul Calibur 2 and 3 and Kaneko Man Muscle Grand Prix and Bloody Roar 3, uh, some, some banger games, SDVZ, the Yu Yu Hakusho, Battle of Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm -hmm. um, like, there's some cool games on it. Oh. Looks like Time Crisis 4. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, there's some... There's, like, the Taiko games on there. Like, Taiko, like, up until 12 was on there. I don't remember... I don't remember if it was, like, the really early ones, but, like, I know at least from, like, 8, I think. Um, oh, there's that record. <laughs> oh, I fucking blocked. Uh, Mr. FPGA is currently, well, people are currently developing CPS3 for Mr. Oh, yeah. Isn't there also, like, a N64 project going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need to get one of those. There, there was already, like, a price increase on those nano. Yeah. I was bummed out because my, my actual, my original Mr. Board uh, yeah, busted. What the fuck's going on with my stick, though? Oh. Wrong with it. Nah, I, I don't it? know. I, I did like a, I don't know, it, it, it's just like a feeling thing. But like, I did oh. like a quarter circle, and it, it did like super. Like, I swear. I don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe it's nothing. Oh. What kind of joystick do you have in here? Uh, I think it's just like a Sanwa. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got one of those JLX joysticks. Uh, it's like Sonic's new standard joystick. Yeah, I think I haven't yeah, used um, it yet, though. What do you say? I actually just picked up the, a Pelican. Oh. Like, Wait, what, uh, what's that? It sounds familiar. Uh, pe oh, Pel Pelican is like an old brand of like arcade, like uh, like controller company. Um. They used to make like Universal Arcade Six and stuff like that for like PS2, GameCube, and Xbox era. 
So I picked one up because uh, I was out and about. And I hit up this like retro music store. They sell like retro like DVDs, VHS tapes, that kind of thing, um, and like newer games too. And I was just I was browsing around, and they had an arcade stick there for like forty bucks, and I was like, I can't not buy that. <laughs> um, and then with my in-store points, it came out to be like twenty bucks, and I can't really beat yeah. twenty bucks for an arcade stick. So yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's a PS2, Xbox, and GameCube arcade stick, and it looks like, have you ever seen, like, one of those Moss sticks before? Oh, like, yeah. Little big chunky boys? <laughs> it looks kind of, it looks like one of those. Uh, but the only thing weird about, like, uh, PS2 era arcade sticks is that... The L1 and L2. Oh, right. Is, it, yeah, you know what, it, what I'm talking about. It's like where the square and X are and most like modern arcade sticks are. I don't know where that even came from. Like, or right. Because like, I've, I've seen like a, I don't even know what it was. Like some kind of weird arcade cabinet that did that. Like it was like, a, it was like a cabinet designed for like an Xbox 360. And mm -hmm. I've seen them like multiple places. So they must have been like, produced somewhere <laughs> but they had that layout on it <laughs> it was weird yeah it, it's like it's pretty obnoxious but because most you know modern controllers most modern arcade sticks don't really use that anymore yeah um and i think it's because you know how like like uh like have you ever been to like a big blue like capcom arcade cabinet Oh, yeah. Like how the buttons are just, like, straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and, and I'm assuming, like, adding those extra buttons are just, like, kind of unco- They assume you're going to use the straight buttons, because that's how mm. things are at, our, at an arcade cabinet now. Oh, were, were those buttons straight on yours? Your Pelican thing? Um, no. Oh. <laughs> they're not. They're actually, they're actually a weird kind of curved... Is like, the whole thing like kind of like a little like, like a curve? <laughs> yeah, it's a little, all the buttons are a little bit like curved, like rainbow style. <laughs> and it's it's like it's a little weird. It's a little time capsule of a of a, a controller, <laughs> and um, and the buttons are uh, I believe they're convex is the word where the like you know the button goes inward. Oh okay. Yeah, all the buttons are convex. Um, which I found to be, when I was playing, I, I popped in CBS2 and I started kind of messing around with it and the buttons are very, very sensitive. So... <laughs> are they like, like normal, like, are they like switches or like, are they kind of rubber domed or whatever? Um, yeah, they're just like plastic, plastic buttons. I don't know what brand they are. Oh, I mean like uh, on the inside, like, do you know if it's like a, if it's like, do they have like switches inside them or like, are, are they like, um... Kind of like those, what do you call them? Like the contacts. Oh no no yeah they're 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 like regular but like um like San Juan buttons. Oh. Like how you'd see that, except okay. with these ones, you know, they're not like the arcade buttons where you can like turn the 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 contact and like pull it out. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um. So it kind of makes like replacing buttons a little bit more annoying. Because that means that to be able to move a button or fix something, you have to un completely unsolder a wire to be able to get to the screws. Right. Oh. So basically, it just has like on the back, it has like a screw, and then you know you turn the not like the plastic cover notch thing, and it's basically just tightened to the the board itself. Um, I know it's like really hard to like explain, but. Um, but yeah, overall it was pretty cool, though the one downside was when I picked it up, the, the joystick itself was disconnected completely. Uh, so I just had to unscrew the back and then, you know, just plug it back in and it worked just fine. Hmm. Yeah, that and like two of the buttons stick, so I gotta like fix that um, and like clean the buttons and hopefully that will work. 
Um, but to do that, I have to like unsolder all the wires, and I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> wow. I I did get one of those. Um, you might have seen them before. It's like. <laughs> Like this Dragon Ball, like PS2 stick. <laughs> Have you seen that? Mm -mm. <laughs> I think it was like made for Budokai or something. Dragon. It has like Dabura and stuff on it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's really fun. Like, Go tanks. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, it's really shitty too. Uh, there's actually two versions, and I got the worst one. There was one, mm. like, the one that I got has, like, those rubber dome, like, things for the joystick. Like, it has them for the buttons and the joystick. <laughs> That's how it does the switches on the joystick. They're, they're not even, like, switches. They're just, like, those rubber dome, like, like push down contact type of things. Well, I'm, I'm gonna send you a picture and let me know if this is it. Someone, someone, like, there's someone notorious, like, in the Guilty Gear Plus R scene for using that stick. <laughs> like, it's a strong player who uses that stick in Guilty Gear. <clears throat> but then, yeah, they made a version of it that looks pretty similar, but the joystick actually has, like, actual, like, micro-switches or whatever. Is it, like, Initial T? Do you remember Initial T, like, place oh, fighting? The... <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> And I think that one's the good one, the one with the, the blue oh, dust shit. washer. I mean, yeah, good in quotations. Good. The buttons are still like the rubber dome thing. Yeah, man, nothing makes me want to play fighting games like a squishy button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think there was like some French Tekken player who used to use that like as a kid. Um, oh, the Dragon Ball arcade stick. Yeah, like I was, I don't know, like I must have been like talking about that stick or something on Twitter, and, like there's some like someone that's saying like oh this this guy used to use that one <laughs> and he had like this picture of him as a kid it was pretty funny oh, oh. yeah this this arcade stick has that same damn setup yeah where l1 and l2 is all the way to the left yeah. <laughs> but yeah it, it even is like the, the arcade stick is even kind of like curved the same way as the one where it's not quite i don't know this is kind of obnoxious build. Oh. Round three. Fight. Goodbye. Cannon. Oh. It's, it's funny with the um, the grab like that. Uh, you, you can like grab people doing a homing attack and like dash and stuff. Um, so sometimes at the start of the round, you'll see both players um, do a grab because I think the other person is going to do a homing attack at the start. It's pretty okay. funny. So like a, a good counter to a homing attack is is like grab. Will it just scoop them straight out of the sky or? Oh, are you um, like 16 specific thing? Oh, no, oh, no. Um, yeah, you can just grab a homing attack. Because I guess, like, the grab... Like, the way the homing attack works, I think, is, like, when you're within a certain range, the homing will start the attack part, I guess? Mm -hmm. Um, And I guess that attack is, like, slower than grab. Um, grab is active on, like, frame 11. Um, so I guess the, uh, yeah, the, the homing attack won't work. Round one. But I think, like, from some angles, it, like, grab won't work, though. Like, if you, if you, like, 
are above or below the opponent, and you do a home make, um, the hitbox position just like won't really allow you to grab. Oh. <laughs> uh. So wait, so how do you activate speed mode? It's not his skill tree. Um, it's like a skill you can choose on 16's tree. Um, you get to choose between speed mode or armor mode. And it's like a super, it's like a, a double four circle back. See, that, that, I think that's why I was confused, because I was just playing the game without anything unlocked. Right. And I was like, oh, why can't I do speed mode? Why isn't it working? <laughs> yeah. I was, like, playing it on my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, which but it's, is, like, an emulator. Yeah, which is, which is rough, because there was tons of input lag. <laughs> like Aether or SX or something? Yeah. Yeah, because the other kind of versions of it are either cost money or are bad. <laughs> like play. You play your Oh, now. yeah. Play is like, um, definitely has a long way to go, but yeah. supposedly they're going for like accuracy, which is kind of interesting. Like, I, I don't know. Um, it's, it's open source. Yeah. Which yeah, I don't think PSX2 is also open source. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think I think most emulators are. I I actually don't really know very many of them. Yeah. Um, but PSX2 has like a ton of like people contributing to it, so that could be a. I heard that is kind of a maybe a bad thing, at least in the past. It was like too many too many hands on deck or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like and a lot of spaghetti cool. code in the past, but I think it's kind of been cleaned up a bit more recently since Denzek joined. <clears throat> yeah, from from the little that I heard about it, um, originally there, like on the main website, you couldn't even get the most recent version of PCSX2. You had to go to like a a separate website, and I couldn't even I couldn't find um, like version one point four or something like that. Um, um, for like, and this was like four or five years ago, I want to say. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember what was going on back then. I remember when I first started getting into this game, 1.4 was the current version. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> that version was bad. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a video of um, the thing like stuttering when I was practicing. It's, yeah. it's hilarious. Like I was, I was, <laughs> I was practicing like heavy homing attack cancel, and like I did it, like a few times in a row, and then, like in the middle of it, it started like it like it like stopped, and it was like you can hear a buzzing noise, <laughs> and then I just resume after it stops. <laughs> yeah, man, like, um, bad emulators is a big reason why, or bad emulation is a big reason why I just buy like. Uh, like actual consoles now, yeah. but it really, I wouldn't have gone down that road if like emulation was just a little bit better <laughs> when I first started getting into retro gaming. Um, yeah, I guess like that hardware emulation thing going on now is like pretty awesome. I haven't really gotten around to like trying it that much though. Yeah, PGA. Yeah, for sure. It's like definitely a a really cool way to do it, though. Like way more accurate than what I've heard. It's like hardware rather than software. Yep. Um. Yeah. The getting uh, like a Mister was probably one of the best investments that I made. It's expensive mm. though, but. Like, it, I, I've seen a lot of people run, like, um, like, uh, any, like, CPS2 tournament off of, like, a Mister, or... Because it's, it's relatively convenient, and, like, God knows, like, those, those CPS2 arcade boards are, like, a ticking time bomb. Because, <laughs> you know, you gotta, like, Phoenix them, 
and then oh. you gotta get one, and then you gotta like install the um, like a Raspberry Pi to it or something. I don't then... know about um, when it was, but like kind of like a couple of years ago, someone mm -hmm. actually developed something that you could um, put on the board for it not to use a what do you call it a battery, and you could use the original encrypted ROM so you don't have to Phoenix it either. Um, it's called an Infinity Key. I think it was uh, Undamned who developed it. Um, but that was just a recent development. And you can actually revive dead boards too with it. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, it is a thing you have to like install on it. Like a uh, soldering, I think. Big solder, yeah. On arcade boards, I think that type of stuff is usually beginner friendly because the, um, they're the giant. So large, yeah. <laughs> through hole soldering. Honestly, I've, I've had so much bad luck with like working on motherboards in general that I just don't even do it anymore. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't even tried it. I feel like I, I, I might have mentioned it to you before. Like, I feel so dumb being in this hobby and like not knowing how to solder. <laughs> well, it, unless it's like wiring, I don't like I'll touch it if it's wiring, but if it's anything else, I don't bother. Like, if it's arcade, like, making an arcade stick, I've done it enough times to where I'm comfortable with it. Um, but if it's, like, if I'm soldering, like, a Dreamcast or something, like, I'm like, oh, no, I'm paying somebody to do this. I'm, I'm... Right. Yeah, and like, the HDMI I... kits and shit. Yeah, I, like, ruined the Dreamcast like by... Like, like, stable... Yeah, I, I try to install... Like a yeah DC HDMI, mm. um, and the problem is, is like people would be like oh it's so easy and it's like what what do you mean it's easy <laughs> like what what information because like there's <laughs> this is the kind of thing where you kind of want to really have like detailed information about what you're doing right. and uh, there's not always like a tutorial of this is how I did it and then I would do <clears throat> actually that's not true. I would follow an exact. To make a video. <laughs> yeah, I would follow an exact tutorial, and then it wouldn't work. Oh, and it's it's one of those things where it's like, um, uh, yeah, you I don't know. The wrong board I, vision. You should have known. <laughs> yeah, and then once you install it, right, you turn it on, and you, you install it wrong, then it's like instantly fucked. <laughs> Oh, you see on this version that like isn't marked. Your yours actually has a battery right there that yeah, uh, normally right, exactly. isn't there. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was a uh, it was a uh, silent revision. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's like there's too many. There's a lot of variables that like aren't always taken into consideration when people are making tutorials, uh, yeah. or the knowledge just isn't there. Like. They forget to leave out a detail. They leave out a detail like, "Oh yeah, uh, this only works on Sega Saturns uh, from this version to this version," and it's like, "Yeah, it's a lot of that." <laughs> you can't just like you can't just like get up and be like, "You know what? I'm gonna install a DC HDMI into my Dreamcast and then just go for it." With some of these consoles, there's like so many. Like the PS2 has like a lot of revisions. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think I, I have, um, I think I might have two PS2s with the same. Hello? <laughs> Did his internet go out? I, I think, game just crashed. I, I, I think his computer died. Oh. A, lot, a lot of people like to emulate it, but it's, it's literally also one of the worst Game <laughs> systems to emulate too. The emulator that never grew up is still using plugins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's the I fuck. That's the only reason. Again, another reason why I bought an actual N sixty four was because I'm like I'm not doing this plugin shit. <laughs> oh my god! Why N sixty four emulation is like <laughs> it's so that's like never progressed. Yeah. I tried to get, uh, what, like, Moopin, or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, like, gave up. 
Isn't it, it like Mupen is also kind of archaic, isn't it? Like Mupen and Girls. then I have it on my <laughs> Wii, but that's just because I bought like a pre-hacked Wii when I was like 13 off eBay, and that's just like those same Wii I have. I have like three Wiis actually, but that's like the hacked one I have. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um. But yeah, the the. The N64 is kind of wild, but I actually, I went, I got extra mode on that, and I went, I got the RGB modded, and um, I've got the the HD retrovision cables with, you know, uh, you uh, so. or, I mean, uh, yeah. um, uh -huh. an EverDrive 64. Like, I just went all out on the 64. I'm like, I'm never... Investing in N64 ever again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you play a uh, Smash Remix on the EverDrive? I haven't. No, I haven't really like delved into the the like modded um, N64 games yet. But I'm interested in that for sure. Yeah, it's an amazing mod. I love Smash Remix. They like they like didn't balance the original characters, but they added more characters. Um, they're really cool, oh. like <laughs> well designed. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my god. Pixel yeah, the pixel. Holy magic piss pixel fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, but yeah, um, I was just looking, I looked up like Sega Saturn, um, and I want to say I'm already looking at a minimum of like four different versions of the Sega Saturn. And oh, really? there's like a high Saturn too, um, which is like a different version that like they like um, they partnered with Hitachi to make it. Um, yeah, they're like Hitachi like provided the CPU, like disk drive, and other like chips and stuff like that. And it's like a different version called the High Saturn. Um, High Saturn. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just sort of like the the same thing as like you were talking about. There's like also a V Saturn, which is like where I they think have I like. I might have heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the the JVC Victor Saturn. Um, it's kind of wild. That's. Five Saturns, and we're not talking about like the revisions that they had made along the way. Wasn't there like a Saturn that said like "This is cool" on it or something? I don't know about <laughs> that. It's, it's it had some funny phrase on it, or that might have been a Dreamcast. I can't remember. Pretty sure it was a Saturn. I think like some yeah. company made like a shell, like. Um, a reproduction shell that like had a similar phrase on it. Oh yeah. I'm like on my third Sega Saturn. I'm kind of fucking ashamed to say that. Oh damn. The, those things are ticking time bombs. <laughs> I got one from like this retro game store and I don't even like use it that much. Uh, I I guess like I probably could start using it more now that um, when I was at Evo, I got a uh, I got a Brook like a Dreamcast slash Saturn convert. I forgot it's for Saturn. <laughs> I was more concerned about Dreamcast, but um, yeah, like Saturn too. I got, and I got it for free. Um, I was talking to like this uh, guy who works for Brook in Taiwan, and yeah. um, what do you call it? 
I, I was showing it like I had a bunch of like broke devices with me that were like faulty or whatever, and it is kind of like talking to me about them. And I guess like since I have I have like six or seven of their things, and I guess since he like <laughs> I guess enjoyed talking to me or something, like he saw that I really like broke stuff, he just gave it to me. <laughs> the like here. Yeah. He's a Saturn. Uh, but yeah, uh, the one that you were talking about that was like, that said, this is cool. That's the skeleton Saturn. Skeleton, yeah. I knew it had some name, like, yeah. Which is the HST that has, that in and of itself has three revisions. <laughs> and each one has like a slightly different color and box. Like, I, why do they do this? It like it's so confusing. Why would they? <laughs> yeah. It must have also been like art availability or something. Like they want to make more Saturns, but like maybe like the places they got the parts from just aren't. I'm assuming that's why a lot of those things happen. Yeah, I mean. Um, it's just sort of like, you know, it's like Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn Bomberman Kid, Sega Saturn Ice Cream and Soft Drink Summer pre uh, Presents, uh, Sega Saturn Rally Pack, uh, Sega Saturn Christmas Nights Winter Limited Edition, uh, Sega Saturn Plus Limited Edition set. It's crazy, uh, like, how, what do you call it, like, outside Japan, that's that console like didn't do well but like in japan it was like i guess a hit <laughs> i i think the um the guy who was running sega of america at the time was basically just like nah we're, we're not we're not gonna release that many games because the because that was at the time where like sega of america and sega of japan were like literally competing against each other which is just <laughs> insane in of itself uh <laughs> I think, was there a leak about, like, that had the information about that? Yeah, I think there's there's a lot that kind of, like, been behind the scenes. I don't remember all of the details, of course, but, uh, I just remember hearing about, like, Sega of America and Sega of Japan, like, actively sabotaging one another. <laughs> um, which is, like I said, the, the guy of Sega of America basically was just like, nah, we're not gonna release that many Saturn games. Especially if it's like the super weird trash that you know people want to play. <laughs> you ever played uh, the Final Fight Revenge? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that game is awesome. <laughs> Shit, so that one game is so expensive. Yeah, I I just burned those games. The Saturn game. Oh, you got it. Oh, do you, do you have a mod chip in your your Saturn? No, I have a. I, I flashed the action replay cartridge. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. When, I, yeah, it was a uh, it was flash. Like I, I put the eye thing on it. I forgot what it was. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking I, about. Yeah, and I think you can also use it as the expect like the RAM RAM expansion. Uh, yeah. The four megabyte uh, RAM expansion. Pretty good deal. Yeah, I wound up buying a Fenrir. Oh, nice. Which, which is one of those, the, the SD loaders. Yeah. Dude, this move is awesome! <laughs> what is wrong with the hitbox in that movie? <laughs> which move is, is good? V-Punch? It's, oh, it's not, I don't know, it's like, it has a very weird close. hitbox. <laughs> like, why, is it, why is it hitting me like that? But a lot of times, it, like, from some positions, like, it doesn't hit. But, I, like, I noticed it's really good against, like, it works against homing attack like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh... <laughs> Where did Very Piccolo fun. just, like... They were like, let's just give Piccolo the dumbest move ever. <laughs> oh, my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't remember lore-wise why, like, Piccolo and Kami as a Namekian are so strong compared to other Namekians. I mean, other than, like, the Toriyama just, you know, power-ups that he got over the years. Um, yeah, I don't have a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think Kami was just built different, if I remember correctly. Well, doesn't Piccolo, like, train a shit ton compared to the other ones? Well, yeah, I think, I think like, Piccolo also just, like, largely considers himself to be, a, like, a Earthling. Like, isn't he, like, constantly meditating or something? Like, I don't yeah. know if the other Namekians do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it probably helps that you have, like, a literal god in, inside of you. Oh, you're talking about after they fuse? Um, yeah, like, well... Or fuse, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, happened. yeah, Kami was... was... <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah, because Kami was chosen to be the Guardian of Earth. And then, to be able to be the Guardian of Earth, he, like, um, separated himself from all of his evil, which made King Piccolo. Uh -huh. And, uh, which is how... Then, you know, King Piccolo died and made Junior... Aka our our piccolo we know today. All right. But didn't didn't that pickle like combine with Kami at some point though? Yeah. Yeah. It like, became uh, like a super Namekian or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, I forget they, when, really, but it was like uh, after Freezes, I think. Yeah, it was like during the the beginning of the Cell Saga, where like Cell shows up, and uh, Piccolo basically needs the power of. Or to be as strong as the Super Saiyan is, and so they just give him like a a buff to fuse with Kami, and they rejoin. And then Piccolo's like oh ridiculously strong after that. Mm -hmm. Well, at least for like you know ten episodes or so. <laughs> Round oh, um. What do you call it? I made a I made a gif of bubbles recently. <laughs> uh, I put it in the media channel if you want to see it, Matt. <laughs> Check it out. I did have that animation where he's jumping. Where was? What do you say? What what channel oh. was it? Again? Oh, I think I put it in media. Okay. Oh. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I, I made a couple so far. I want to do one of like um, Chi Chi, where she's like spinning the tornado, the, 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 what do you call it, the, the power pole with the super. Okay. Oh, shoot. I meant to see like, I don't know if that's even going to work, though. Hey, oh. I'm actually looking at your, your gifts right now. Oh, and I, did I send more there? <laughs> uh, no, just just the the Super Dragon Ball Z uh, Discord gifts, or the, the I'm sorry, the emojis. Oh, yeah. I'd probably make more of those. I I should probably make one of the the arcade render for Cell, like with a smug grin. <laughs> Did you remove really background on that animation? Oh, uh, if you do a... So, I, I took... I actually made that out of screenshots. And I, I... Yeah, I, like, edited the background out. But then, um... I, I put them... Like, I put the screenshots in, like, a... MOV format. Like, a... Dot MOV. Um, like, I put all the screenshots in order. And then I export the MOV and put it in um, Photoshop to make it as a GIF. Uh, and the GIF can be uh, transparent, so it works out. Like, a, 
Yeah, MLB can be transparent. Like it can be transparent. Like a lot of work, honestly. <laughs> yeah, like a few I, hours I, think, just I was feeling like there's an easy way, way I could do it, but I feel like it does look pretty good that way. And I don't know if um, like if I if I wasn't going to make it out of screenshots, I don't know if I can get it to look that good. Um, like I, I think I can get uncompressed video. I just don't know if it will look like that. But I should try it. But also, if I do an uncompressed video, the uh, file is really big, <laughs> so maybe for longer stuff. I don't know. I should I should try. It. V punch. <laughs> Wait, Pic doesn't Piccolo have like a 360? No, he has the star motion, right? Right, yeah. I don't have it on this one, though. On the skill tree for this one, I instead chose, um... Uh, what do you call it? Impact up and... Oh, ultimate gauge upgrade? Like, the, the one that gives you... You start the match with one super. Ah. Oh. Impact up makes the opponent uh, a lighter weight. There's a. Uh, oh, wait, I did that. <laughs> There's uh, four weight classes in this game light, medium, heavy, and super heavy. I'm as old. Wait, do you actually control the. The, the energy ball? So when I shoot it out, I can like shoot it out in an angle. Yeah. Um, like middle or left or right. And then um, every time I command, so like it kind of tracks like the opponent like a little bit, but it kind of turns very slowly and stuff. So it doesn't go, go that fast or whatever. But every time I command it again, it like redirects towards the opponent and kind of like jumps forward. So, and it stays out longer, a little bit longer too, when you command it, every time. Um, yeah, that's basically how it works. So, Highlands. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> By the way, like I, I contacted like a bunch of those four honor people that you you uh, made that oh. playlist for, uh -huh. and uh, I think like maybe one of them got back to me. Oh, I but, see. But uh, even then, like he's like, oh hey yeah, I could do this weekend, and then I'm like, oh okay, uh, and then they they just never responded again. But uh -huh. I mean, it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know, like a lot of those uh, four honor guys. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea either. I kind of just like, when you said that, I kind of just started looking it up. <laughs> Some um, of the people, though, had like, I don't know, like they had like 15 people following them and they hadn't made a video in like six years. So <laughs> um, I appreciate, I still appreciate the help, though. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh,. Is that the game that's like, kind of like realistic or something? Um, it's like kind, kind of, yeah. Like the like the way that the characters kind of attack and stuff. It's like, like the heavier swords have like a lot of, I don't uh, know, like big swings. I think For stuff. Honor is a little bit less like that. It's not like quite like a realistic like battle oh, simulator. Okay. I think it has like stances and shit. And, like, oh. it's kinda it's still kinda of fighting game. -y. Yeah, it has like a up down left right, uh in terms of like blocking and attacking. So like oh. like uh the right stick uh dictates if it's up down left or right. But that also that also dictates where you block. 
and then it also dictates where you swing from. Hmm. So, um, yeah. And then each, obviously, you know, there's like parrying. So if you if you guess the right direction that they're attacking from, you can parry it or, you know. Um, and then there's like, I think there's passive and active skills you can do. Like one person would like start to poison you or, you know, um, just stuff like that. Like it, they like put a plague on everybody in the area. <laughs> So it's a, it's a little bit like, um, uh, oh my god, what's it called? Like a, any kind of like hero fighter oh. or hero shooter, I, just, I should say, like Overwatch or something like that. Oh, uh, I see. But I, I think it is a fighting game. I just, I just, I, I have a feeling that a lot of the For Honor people won't consider it one though. Hmm. Or I, I would reckon a lot of people that don't have a fighting game background probably play that game. Yeah, it seems a bit out there compared to traditional fighters. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I think we like we, we even like covered covered like Naraka Blade Point, which oh. um, is probably not like a. It's probably closer to. Um, Fortnite, and like oh. also, but it's also had. It's like if Fortnite was a fighting game, is the closest Ooh. thing I can think of. Oh, I see. I noticed like the last video I added, like the, la the on the playlist, the the most recent video I had on there mm -hmm. was like this guy me saying like, or, I didn't watch the video, but it was titled like. Was it kind of like why I quit for honor or something? <laughs> oh no, I didn't. I didn't. It's, it's it was a little. It's been a little while since I looked through the playlist, but since I've like contacted a lot of those people. Hmm. But yeah, like some of those people, like that was the other thing is like some of those people are making videos, but they're it's not they're not making for honor, or they they haven't like made a for honor video in like six years. So a part of me is like. Should, should I contact them about For Honor if they're playing, like, I don't know, Valorant, only Valorant nowadays? I don't know. Doesn't really make any sense. I see. Oh. Come to me. Um, man, it's a shame that, like, in Dragon Ball Z, they really didn't utilize Chi-Chi at all. Yeah, that would been pretty cool. Because she didn't fight in that tournament, so she could fight. Yeah. I, I was, um... A little while ago, I, I was, like, reading a lot of criticism about Toriyama for that kind of stuff. <laughs> she always, he always makes the, the woman, like... <laughs> like, pissed off or something. <laughs> Not only that, but, like, he makes, like, a every woman that, like, is a fighter eventually just becomes a housewife. <laughs> like, he did it to, like, he did it a little bit to Android 18. Um, oh, true. Stop. Oh, I didn't super. <laughs> <laughs> BD? BD telekinesis? <laughs> yeah. I think I can, like, super or fairy something like that, but it's, uh, hard to time it. Yeah. If this was fighting layer, I know that game has a very generous buffer with, the. Uh, with your wake up options. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty interesting. Oh like you can you can buffer some funny stuff. Like you can buffer dashing out of oh. like out of standing up in that game. Really? And it, yeah. It's pretty cool though. Like that 
that you could do that with the buffer. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Because during in the dash, um, there's like a proximity throw, like a universal proximity throw, um, mm -hmm. where you like swap sides with the opponent. Um, it's it's cool. Then you you get a uh, you have like a little bit of advantage enough to um, like link a like a jab usually. Um, huh. And the opponent when you when you when you hit them during that like turnaround thing, they get like airborne hit stunts. So they kind of like pop up, and so there are like some characters that have like combos they can convert off that, just like the little combos. Right. That game is awesome. It's like I I hate how like inaccessible it is because it's it's yeah. not it's like PS one based. Like hardware, it was like Namco System 12, but they didn't actually release on PS1. Like it uh, wasn't it, it wasn't the the Xenia or the ZN. No, nah, Namco System 12 was the board that Tekken 3 was on, and Tekken Tag, and her guys. Yeah, I thought it was layer. like on ZN1 or uh, ZN2. Oh, no, no, that I was Street that. Fighter EX. Oh, okay, okay. And like Tetris Grandmaster. Uh, Bloody Roar was on Bloody Roar one and two were on those two. Heaven's Gate. Um, okay, yeah. so so I mean, I wonder how expensive those are. Um, it depends on the game. Even though I feel like, actually, yeah, I I think because those I think have like this security system, so you can't really like rewrite the ROM on it. You can change out the ROM. There's like a ROM board, but like you can't really rewrite the ROM. Um, so like, TGM like is super expensive. The first Tetris Grandmaster game. I saw that uh, that guy on Winpo picked one up. The first TGM? Uh, no, no, no. He picked up, uh, sorry. Uh, he picked up our fighting layer. Right, yeah. I was talking to him about it, like, <laughs> apparently he got the censored one. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, there's two, like, yeah. as far as I know, there's two versions. And yep. one of them is, uh, oh, wow. censored, but, like, what do you call it? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> um. The censored version removed like some cosmetic like changed some cosmetic stuff and actually removed one of uh it's funny they removed blair's like leotard outfits uh, which okay. is like her default outfit and it's even yeah. in her portrait they didn't change the portrait <laughs> so weird um and like i don't know like the, the swords look like sticks and the blood that like doesn't even look like blood is like green <laughs> so was he was he upset then? Uh, yeah, I think, um, because it's kind of an expensive board. Like, yeah, he was saying he was saying it was like really it was like seven hundred dollars or something like oh, that. Oh jeez, I don't, yeah, I, I I don't know that for sure. For that but... much for it, but I know that like a lot of times it goes for five hundred. Well, he, um, I think, I think he was, yeah, it was probably it was up there though. That, yeah, I, I know that for sure, but. He, he was saying that he bought it with YouTube money, so... Oh, um, that's cool, yeah. Yeah. I bought, um... I bought the Retro Gem with <laughs> the Combo Breaker money. <laughs> oh, I mean, not okay. really... <laughs> what do you call it? I, I spent more going there than I did winning Combo Breaker, but... Still. Went longer, GP Bear stealing money from the SDBZ community. <laughs> Hey, I mean, the streams are going to be easier to set up. <laughs> did, did you buy the, the one with all the perks and everything? Or? Yeah, I bought the shiny edition. But it hasn't oh, gotten he's here He's going to have all the extra features, like... Uh... And NEP output. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so... It, what do you think so far, though? Was it worth it? I haven't even gotten it yet. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. I, was, I, I, I don't know how other people just announced. It seems like everybody and their mama has it now. But <laughs> I'm still waiting for the the 9,000 
X model like compatibility. I don't know oh. if it's like because of the the if it's the slim. If I don't I don't know if they're working with other slims yet or what, uh, or if yeah. it's just like gonna be like. I know that model specifically has problems with um, memory card mods, so I don't think it would worry about that. But I don't know. That that mm. was a probably a, a like a later model, right? Yeah, that's I yeah, have like one of the really late models. The glossy finish one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like everyone hates that model, I think. <laughs> it's like they just removed <laughs> like a lot of stuff. I usually at least with like retro consoles, I most always now if I'm gonna buy one, I try to buy an earlier model of it because they're usually just never problematic with like modding. Um, I don't know what it is about it though. It's like the same thing with like PS3s. Yeah. It's the same thing with Wii's. You know, if they're always like incredibly hackable. I think like uh, it's the same thing with like switches. Like early model switches are easy to hack. There is a model for PS2 that um, you don't want. That was the earliest one that released only in Japan. Okay. Um, I had no idea, and I got it. <laughs> I, I, I like imported it like off of again. Oh, uh, what do you call it? Like eBay. Young Watch in Japan. <laughs> um, I had no idea this model existed, so I was like, "Damn, what did I just buy?" <laughs> it has like this, like this. I don't know if it's proprietary, but I never seen anywhere else. Uh, so like storage system. That like, if you do get like the pri proprietary like thing that they made to mm -hmm. like use it with, like it put like files on it. I heard those even break easily, anyways. <laughs> so I was like, Wait. why did I? I did not know that this did. <laughs> it's it's not the. Is it the fat model? Yeah, it's a fat model that was released before we got it in the U.S. Okay, so so it's not like the um, uh, you're talking about the like the Saturn connector, right, or the IDE connector? Yeah, they don't have the IDE on that one. Oh, okay. it's like That's some weird. proprietary thing. Huh. So so you just like connect it through a wire or something like that to the, the PS2. It's like something that like pops out and you like put something in a tray. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it's it sounds like the fat the fat model, like how you put a hard drive in the back of it. No, I think it has a button that like pops out a tray, like on the back. Huh. It's not okay. like a hard drive bay. Well, it is like a bay, but like it's a it's like a tray that <laughs> pops out. <laughs> Got you. Okay. 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 It's really weird. Yeah, so, and I'm I'm sure it like only uses like if it did use it, it'd probably be. It like, wouldn't even. It doesn't even use a hard drive, does it? It's like a hard drive that I don't even know what kind of hard drive it is. <laughs> um, like I think it's kind of like it kind of looks like th a little bit thin. Um, like it goes on this like thin little tray thingy. Yeah. Um, and the thing that you use to like put files on it is like. It's like some dongle looking thing, like it, it's like this thing with like a wire on it. Right. <laughs> well, what, what was the, do you know what the model was called? Um... I don't remember. Uh, I'd probably check later. Well, I mean, if you if you look up PS1 or PS2, like, models online, uh, you probably... Whoa, what was that? Uh, Did you I think hit? you hit my, um, my, my, uh... Little sucker. What? A little fuck? Oh, yeah. I did the DP. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I did not notice that. I, I, I did it like accidentally. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, it's a DVR. It's a DVR? Well, maybe I'm wrong here. Hold on. There's a. I, there's... I think it isn't proprietary, but like it's some. Thing that like I barely ever, I don't think I've ever seen used anywhere else. This DVR for the built-in 
PS2, released exclusively in Japan, has a built-in Ethernet jack, as well as a built-in HHD uh, hard drive. It's either 160 or 250. Not bad. I really didn't expect to enjoy it this much. Is it is it like a white PSX version? No. Okay. No, it's like the first fat model. Okay. I think that was. Wait, were you reading about the PSX or something? Yeah, there's like a there's a model that's called the PSX model. Oh, um, yeah, no, it's not that one. That's like the big white thing. Yeah. Random poo are there at the beginning of the. Oh yeah, you know, you can actually hit him. There's like an Easter egg. You can hit Puar. Yeah, he transforms. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, he wasn't on like the, the what do you call it, the arcade version. They right. they added a bunch of like cosmetic stuff in the PS2, like the Dende on the Namek and also the fish that's in the background of Namek. Those are on PS2 only. And Mr. Satan on me. <laughs> oh, no. Stage. Yeah, I was uh, I was actually trying to play uh, Super Dragon Ball Z on my Steam Deck as well. Mm -hmm. I noticed uh, like a, a bit of slowdown. Don't you have to use like software render? That's what I, I does from my experience. The, so the problem with with using PS2 on um, the Steam Deck is that a lot of times you ac you accidentally input the button combination to switch it from hard hardware rendering to software rendering. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think it's like R3 on the Steam Deck or something like that. You like change the hotkey, right? Yeah, yeah. But I'm also lazy, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh, R3, huh? Yeah. It's like um, something like R3, or like I've accidentally um, changed it a bu or um, input it a bunch of times. That god elbow. Oh. <clears throat> um, that, uh, I mentioned it, like, I think Ocean might have been there earlier, but, um, the Rumblefish 2, uh, port that, what do you call it, 3 goo or whatever. I, for, I forgot who the actual developer was, but three. Oh, the Steam version? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh. I, I think, like, I can't run it on my PC because I don't have a dedicated graphics card. And that might be the issue, or, like, maybe it doesn't like AMD or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I can play it on my Steam Deck, though. <laughs> yeah. What's annoying about. I don't know if you noticed this about, like, uh, recent Steam Deck updates of the OS. Is how it like it used to let you launch games that weren't Steam Deck compatible before, but now it doesn't. Okay. At least for me, like um, uh, what was it? Like I used to be able to play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on my Steam Deck, and now it refuses to launch it now. What? Yeah. There must be a way. Um. I've thought about installing Windows on the actual Steam Deck, but huh. I feel I feel like that kind of like defeats the convenience of using the Steam Deck. Uh, you can like you can have two operating systems on it, like a dual boot. Yeah, but that would also be that I would have to like expand the yeah. the drive space, wouldn't I? Um, uh, maybe. 
Yeah, I guess you probably might want to do that. We do that. Oh shit. <laughs> Cause like the the freaking issue with the the shaders, how it stores the shaders, and like that takes up most. I mean, I have like the the smaller or the yeah the cheapest model of the Steam Deck, but most of the time my actual C drive gets filled up with just shaders all the time. Um, yeah, the shader cache is like a huge issue for the Steam Deck. So is, is 16, like, uh, top tier, or is he kind of just, like, mid-tier? Um, he's, like, mid-tier, like, but yeah. he's good. I, I feel like, uh, the mid-tiers are really solid characters. Um, well, I, have I told you, have I talked to you about the tiers before? I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. Um, yeah, they're, like, pretty clearly defined, I feel like. Like, um, it's pretty, like, apparent like why they are there uh mm -hmm. like placed there but um what do you call it? i don't think any character is really necessarily worthless i i got I, I don't know what it is about the game but i feel like you can you can definitely win with like the worst character in the game it like it just depends on oh. your choices and stuff you know yeah you know, skill level for sure yeah like, yeah, Cell's the best character in the game, and yeah, he's just, like, good at everything, but, like, I don't think, like, just because you pick Cell doesn't mean you're gonna win, you know? Yeah. I saw, like, uh, wasn't there, like, a really good 17 at the tournament? At the EVO tournament? Or am I, am I crazy? EVO, this Did year? Did you play 17, Bear? I can't I feel like remember. You, I feel like you might have played 17. I think I, I remember playing 18, I think. Oh. I remember is recently I saw a really, really good Android uh, 17 player. Oh no, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of... Sorry. I, for some reason I'm thinking of fighters. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, was there was like, a 17 at EVO, for sure. Yeah, it was like, insanely good. Oh. I think there's a few. I think he's pretty good in fighters, or something. I don't know. I don't know fighters, man. I just heard fusions are good. Yeah. I probably should go soon. Um, maybe one more. Sick costume. Oh yeah, this is another one of those PS2 costumes. So cool. Man, I would love this game when it came out. Yeah, it um, especially like on the oh. Oh, what the? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, I that got was weird. That. What? How did I do that? <laughs> I don't even know, like, I... <laughs> what? I did it out of the dragon... the soaring dragon strike, right? Yeah. The, that's so funny. I mean, that wasn't a very good way to use that that technique, but... <laughs> There's other ways you can land that, um... So, like, if you, if you, uh... If you land the Destructo Disc Super, mm -hmm. if, if you land them, like, while you're charging it, up above his head. It does a 
ton of damage. Um, there's like certain like like combos you can do to really get that. Um, But yeah, no, um, yeah, because I, I remember seeing this game, and then, like, I was, I loved Dragon Ball Z Budokai growing up, um, and I couldn't, I couldn't really, like, get into the Tenkaichi series, because it was just too different. Mm. I was like, ah, oh, Tenkaichi kind of sucks, man. It's not <laughs> as cool as, it's not as cool as, uh, Budokai, because yeah. that's like a, because I didn't consider Tenkaichi a fighting game at the time. Right. Um, but yeah, no, like, I remember, like, seeing the game, and I think my friends were all kind of like, nah, man, look, Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> you know, I, I basically would buy games, or, like, fighting games I thought my friends would play a lot of times. Oh. <laughs> You're mashing out of it. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a DQ. Pro no, no. <laughs> stress. <laughs> Isn't it a lot of times it's like only a DQ if, if the other person like agrees? Yeah, like, I think they, like they you can have a gentleman's out. agreement to like not do play it. It's like accidental sometimes people do a gentleman's agreement. But uh <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, like Marvel 2 at Evo this year, but um I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> the grand finals ended by someone accidentally pausing and the the person didn't want to run it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can blame him for that. I don't know. They're like, nah, I won that. <laughs> <laughs> were people booing? I bet people booed. Yeah. Like, I think the commentators were like, nah, I, I would have kept going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was very, um, what do you call it? My friend was saying, like, people are still talking about it on the Discord server. <laughs> Well, how much of that? You gotta get that stagnate? no pause tech in in in, in you, man. <laughs> I'm still bummed that the, the legends, the Marvel Two Legends tournament never happened. Right. Yeah. That would've been pretty cool. Yeah. I I think they should do that more often. Like I I know they kind of did it with like Marvel Three this year, but that was just like a full on tournament. Well, yeah. the the Marvel Two thing was going to get like an invitational, yeah, or qualifier or something. And I remember at the time, at least, kind of building up to that, there was like a bunch of hype ass like Marvel Two matches. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like were coming out of the woodwork to play that game again. Yeah, but that that was like the last Mister Wizard tournament that <laughs> was going to happen right. until he got canceled, and then. Pokimane owns it now. Well, I don't know if she owns it, but... Yeah, I don't know what her involvement is. Yeah. I think Mihara just uploaded, like, a Street Fighter DX2, uh, like, Touch of Death video or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, not plus, <laughs> like, the original DX2. That's incredibly specific, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought it rolled. <laughs> oh, it was just a guy on the combo. I thought it was like, maybe gonna be like all characters. Too. I think they just like have like random like old videos at Arika. It's really cool. Like, I feel like Arika like. They definitely like test their games well, I think. Um, and they, they, they like. I think they, they, they have a, a lot of videos like that that are like, they, they really have like these 
I think they're promotional videos where they're like doing touch of death combos. Okay. <laughs> like, so they like. <laughs> they're like. They know what they're up to. Like, they're, they're not like. Like, oops. We did a touch. We have a touch of death in our game. We have to take it out. <laughs> they're, they're like. <laughs> No. Kind of embrace it. At least back then, I think I think they did that. I don't. They don't really seem like they do that now with like Texel, but uh, right. I don't know. I want to get to know Karika as best as I can. Like I was looking into like um, how they do like the car cancels. In the Rika games, it seems like pretty similar across every game. Yeah, it's like they, they have a uh, the car cancel window. It, in general, is like very lenient compared to other games. Like mm -hmm. it's not even like I think I think in other games people describe it as like canceling a move before it becomes active. Um, but that's not even like really necessarily what Arika does. Like. Cause you can, I think a lot of times you can like car cancel it when it like whiffs, depending on like what how act, soon it's active. I think, um, but it's just a general like timing. Um, it's like I don't know. It depends on the game. Like I think, uh, I think like at PVZ you can car cancel normals with specials on like frame. 10 or something pretty late and then so like the thing that's like the same across the board is um with supers if you car cancel oh damn it <laughs> um if you car cancel the super uh it's even a later timing window like you can cancel like a rift normal um not not completely like you can't Depending on how long the normal animation is, like if it's really long, you won't be able to cancel the end of it. Because only like, I don't know, Nessie BD must have been like, let's say 17 frames or something. But I mean, if the if the animation for the normal is 17 frames, then you can cancel at any point. Oh, I tried to no cancel. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like that in every Eureka game. They have, um, you can, you can car cancel with specials and supers, and the window for supers is larger than specials. One guy just really likes car cancels at Eureka. <laughs> They're cool. <laughs> like, you can use them. Um, I have seen people use, like, sweeps. Like, go yep. under a fireball and car cancel the sweep with a super <laughs> to, like, punish the fireball. It's so sick. Huh. I have a... Uh, so, and, and um, just to be clear, so, car canceling is canceling an animation to, like, usually cancel into something else, right? So... Yeah, usually, what it usually is, is like you cancel the animation with a, like a special or something or a super before yeah. it becomes act, the move becomes active, like the normal yeah. move becomes active. But or a throw. in the Rika games, like it, the active frames, like doesn't even matter. Like it's just, they have a certain timing window when you can car cancel for specials yeah. and supers. Uh, yeah, so think, it's just think... like whipping essentially with like. It moved like whips and you cancel it. Like you don't have to cancel it on hit necessarily. Right. Like this one. Oh, but see, like I did the same timing when I hit him. So like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I know uh, Guile has, in SF6 has a Kara um, target combo, or a oh, target yeah. combo. He, he can Kara. Yeah. Wow. I remember seeing like. Um, what do you call it? Sagat in like like vanilla. I don't know if it still has it, but I know in vanilla for sure he had uh, this wow, like huge car cancel. Yep. Uh, with his, like one of his like I think it was like his command normal kicking, like a, a heavy kick. He like move forward a shit ton, <laughs> and he could like do it into DB. Yeah. Um, the kind of cool thing about um. I mean, Guile's 
uh, car cancel in Street Fighter 6 is that it will move him backwards enough to car cancel into like Sonic Blade. So he gets he gets he can he can kind of space himself out a lot more just to car a you know, Sonic Blade. Especially like if you're in the corner and you're just blocking the combo. Let's do it. Yeah. I, I also know, like, in, in like, CVS2, Kara throws were kind of a big thing. Mm. Yeah. Actually, there is, like, um, I don't know about CVS2, but I know with, like, Third Strike, the way that mm -hmm. Kara throws work in that game is, it's, it's, um, it's using the like leniency of pressing like two buttons at once so like you i think the way it works is like um it's a different kind of like system of how it's like can't cancel and move um like you don't have to press the two buttons on the, you know how throw is like you press two buttons at once yeah in that game um so they made it so like you can press the button like not on the same frame like one after the other and it'll do the throw but obviously like if you press the button one frame it's gonna start the animation and it's gonna stop it you know on the next frame so you press the it's gonna turn into like the throw animation yeah so that's how the car works in that one in that game um it would be cool if there's like a term like the like Describe the difference, like between car throws yeah, in different like games. Maybe like macro car or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you can do that also, like in this game, like with homing attack. If you press like like um, because homing attack is attack plus guard. So if you press attack on the first frame and guard yep. on the second frame, it, you'll start the attack. Then you'll like go into the homing attack. Uh, but that's like, going to be a different kind of car cancel than like the other ones. I feel like this is like one of the kind of fighting games I would want to learn on PS2. It's uh, definitely but... super fun. Because um, like, just like laddering stuff, like the huge air-to-air -air combos and stuff. Yeah. Well, just... <laughs> just fundamentals, like labbing on, on PS2, because I don't know. How do I put mm -hmm. this? Uh, just I know that um, execution-wise, it can be very challenging. Um, yeah. At least, at least with um, I know you said like it's not worth learning the the like air combos or or whatever. It was oh, not. the the like fly cancel infinite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like the part that you don't get, it, like the part of me that would want to play the game is like, no, I gotta learn how to flight cancel. Oh That's yeah, I would. I mean, if you want to do it, go for learn. it. <laughs> like, uh, because I, I, it took me like maybe like a few months to like be able to like link to. That, that's like one of those things where like maybe every once in a while I just want to I just want to like see if I can break my record, you know? <laughs> yep. But it's not like on something CRT I'm, like, really I can do like on. seven now. Hmm. Yeah. Which is that's pretty cool. cool. But I I usually tell people like like if you if you think that this is not this is like the thing that you have to learn to like learn how to play this game like no definitely not I mean it's like. It's gonna be a huge punish if you like actually can do this thing, but like, mm -hmm. what do you call it? It's, it's I mean, there's essential. other things that you definitely want to practice, and I mean, it might be a lot easier time to practice other things too. But yeah, yeah, it's like definitely like one of those things where it's like you know, practicing execution. It's a pretty, it's pretty uh, satisfying. Yeah, I know you like showed me some bread and butter combos. And um, I think with a, like a couple of, it might have been 16 that you, you sent me like a bread and cup butter combo. And I looked at it and I'm like, I try to do it and I'm like, damn, I can't even do this bread and butter combo. <laughs> and yeah. so I'm like, and I was just kind of getting frustrated because I was playing it on my phone with a bunch of input lag. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's definitely not the game for that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I was just sort of like. Uh, Unless you're practicing I, fighting bear. Yeah, <laughs> cross uh, cross country. 
I always think it's interesting how, like, games um, sometimes have, like, a in training mode, they have, like, a, a meter to, like, s simulate input lag. Oh. You know what that actually ends up being really helpful for is, um, what do you call it? Like, people who are playing on, like, a different version of the game, like, I don't know if you're aware of this, like, on the arcade versions of, like, some of these, some games, mm -hmm. um, there might actually be, like, more input latency. Um, like, in Melty Blood. That was, like, some, like, this, like, old, like, PC-based arcade system. Yeah. And, like, this obviously, like, not optimized for a latency, like, input latency. So it's, like, I was actually, like... Like more laggy than oh my god! <laughs> it was more laggy than like the every like every other version of the game. I think uh, that's insane. And also, like it was also like that with like uh, wow. Rev Two, uh, Ghost of Gear Rev Two. Really? So like the the arcade version was just like not the de facto definitive version of the game. I mean. For the Japanese, it was, and so they when they play it on when they practice on console, they would increase the latency so that like the timing's still more similar to what they're uh, used to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah. Like, I think generally people want to play with less latency, but like as far as accessibility, like you know how it is in Japan, like you have this yeah. place to you have to, this place to meet. And play our, uh, we talked about it on your podcast, I think. <laughs> Place yeah. to meet and play arcade games and stuff. You're gonna it's probably the best environment to uh, play. Yeah, the best way to learn. Yeah. I I miss that dude. I miss having like people over my house to play fighting games. It it was so much fun. Yeah. Having like four or five even just having like four or five people over, like playing on uh like actual hardware, you know. Mm -hmm. It's it really, you know how it is. There's nothing that kind of beats offline. Yeah, I haven't been getting to do that much lately. I gotta, I gotta do that again. Encounter. <laughs> That's like the only way I can play fighting later. <laughs> have people over. Yeah, because like. I, there, there is some online build, but I haven't gotten to try it yet. But like, I have a feeling that's gonna be really bad because yeah. it's like Mame Galera shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's gonna be good. <laughs> but I guess I, I I just have to try it to see how it goes. About. I just wish Mame. I know Mame is like is easy to set up, but I don't know. It's always like, like... for some stuff. Yeah. Fine. But like, there's a lot of cores on there or something. Like, not every game is like the same. Like, it's not all equal. Yeah. So like, some cores are really good, I think, but others are. You know, this game has a graphical bug. This game has an audio bug. This game yeah. <laughs> doesn't yeah, support yeah, save yeah. states. This game. <laughs> this game worked. This game worked in the last version, but yeah. it doesn't work in this version. And oh it's like, my god! Yeah. I, why, why would I? That's why I get like. It's an, it's like a OCD thing. I hate that. Like, I just want it all to run. That's why I like real hard. Again, that's another reason why I like real hardware. Cause I'm like, oh, this runs perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You know. Uh, I mean, other than you know, maybe if someone has like a 60 FPS hack on some stuff or something. But even then, if if someone's like, yo, why don't we why don't we play? Uh, Super Dragon Ball Z on PCSX2 with a widescreen hack, I'd be like, no, <laughs> give me the four by three. I'm not, I'm not fucking with widescreen. It's not how it's, you know, it's not how the it's The only thing I don't like about the widescreen for this game is like, it stretches like the UI. Like the uh -huh. game, like, it's pretty cool that it, like, you can, you know, see a wider area without like, it stretching the gameplay scene, but you know, <laughs> sometimes those health bars are pretty uh, stressed, and like that looks like it did a ton of damage, but it didn't. <laughs> yeah. Huh, that's interesting. I've actually, I, I don't really fuck with like widescreen stuff. 
on emulators. Yeah, most of them are like that, where it's like, you know, it's, it's pretty cool that the game is all, like, you can see more in the game scene, but then, like, yeah. the UI is, like, stretched. But then some of them actually, like, do adjust the UI stuff, which is, like, kind of, kind of awesome. The, it's like, uh, I don't know. Guys, guys, look, you can see four more inches <laughs> on, the, on the game. Yeah, and then sometimes it's like stuff that you're like not even supposed to see. So like kind of like looks all messed up on the sides. <laughs> yeah. Like I think the, the ones for the Dreamcast games are like that. Yeah, we're going to do some... <laughs> like the side, you can just see like a void on the side or something like part, part of the... T like you can see some of the textures going outside, but then like... Just, just like, like artifact like, things. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. My my actually my CRT has a widescreen mode. Oh yeah. I never. I mean, and then I, I like. I try it every once in a while just to see what it's like, and it always looks bad. Yeah. And I just go back to the four by three. I use um. Underscan. I, I I adjusted underscan on my mm -hmm. PVM for. I didn't do it exactly or anything, but I did approximately to like what um, eight by seven is mm -hmm. because um well like Super Nintendo is natively eight by seven. Really. Um, so like if I play like pound it on the squares don't look like rectangles if I have it in an 8x7. <laughs> the squares will actually look like stairs. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. I was actually lucky enough to find uh, a like a Philips uh, CRT that had like component inputs. Oh, nice. And uh, so I just wound up going the like the uh, HD retrovision route mm. with most everything. Yeah, gonna... I heard those are pretty good uh, ERTs, like that have the component. Yeah, they actually look fantastic, um, and um, yeah, I mean, it, it looks better than running it through my um, my RetroTink 5X, in my opinion. <laughs> nice try. Round three. Fight. Oh. 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 Is it a command grab? Oh, you actually you can't, can't tech, tech grab. Grabs. <laughs> What's that? You can't, you can't tech grab. You can't. You can't tech grab. Okay. No. Nope. Right. <laughs> they're um, they're active on like frame eleven though. Like they're kind of slow. Um, right. So like, you could like jump out. Um, like if you're just standing and like someone tries to like tick throw you, if you read it, you can like jump out of it. Like the uh, jumping right. is invulnerable to throws. Um, oh, so 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 it's like uh, like an, if you read an SPD. Yeah, you except you can't just up. hold up. You have to actually press the jump button. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. So it, it makes it a little bit more tricky. But um, I don't know if you saw it. I I, I came up with like more more uh, ways to punish throws with like the jump and vulnerability. Because mm -hmm. usually people just jump and then like fly cancel attack down. But yeah. You can like cancel jump with a lot of stuff like immediately. Um, you can cancel it with dash. Um, so you could like dash through them. Dash the throw because the the jump and vulnerability carries over. Um, 
And you, you could like do jumping into like special move. Um, so I, I, I had a video on TikTok. Uh, I actually, I think I put it on Twitter too. Um, where I did like, <laughs> I, I, did, I, I was, I was demonstrating the invulnerability, but like I also did some like fancy combos. So like people really liked watching that. So like, yeah, there's, there's more ways to punish, uh, like the throw than we thought. Ooh. My defense up. Oh! There's so many like good fighting games I want to learn, but it, it just seems like there's never enough time and oh yeah to ever like learn because I was I was playing Project Justice um, last week and I was like God damn this game's fun and then oh, yeah. I remember I think like it was probably over winter that I was playing a lot of like Super Dragon Ball Z and I'm like damn this game's fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah and. Uh, and then I, I'll like sit down, play some Street Fighter Six. I'm like, damn, this game's fun. And I just never, I like, I'm like, I never know good at one of them, you know? <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's exactly. It's like I, I don't know what to focus on. Yeah. yeah there's so many crazy games. I get like really, like, sad when it's, it's like a game that is so cool and like so inaccessible, you know? Like, there's a bunch of games like that. There's, like, Power Instinct 5. It's, like, the best game in the Power Instinct series. And it's, like, it's you hard, can't yeah. play, like, online because it's, like, only a Taito Type X game. Like, it, it's, like, a PC-based type, like, arcade game. It's, like, you can run it on your computer. Um, but, like, there's no, like, tools for it, you know? <laughs> Actually... I found out about Power Instinct uh, through the first game on the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. And I, I played the first game, and I'm like, what? There's, what is this? Is Power Instinct? I've never even heard of this game before. <laughs> and it was really fun. And yeah. I was like, oh, damn, let's go. Let, let's look into it. And then there's, like, you know, I think, like, Brew Von Fight is, like, a like a sequel to Power Instinct somehow. Or yeah, it's, like, considered the third game, but, like, it's, like... I think lore-wise, it's like in the future or something, and it's like a yeah, tag yeah. game, which is like not normal for the series. It it was all very confusing, like the, the the naming convention of of Power and Sync. Because I'm like, wait, okay, so where's Power and Sync two? And like, I couldn't find much information about the series overall. Yeah, because it's like mostly Japanese. Yeah, I, I think we only got the first one actually. Maybe. Yeah, uh, prob probably on the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, it's a. I want to, like, I actually like. I don't really care about lore usually, but like with that game, I actually want to know. <laughs> like, it seems like a really funny game. Like, the, just like in general, like it seems like they're trying to be really funny with it. And there's like the old lady that in her or something she like becomes a hot girl or, or whatever <laughs> and like that's yeah. her kind of thing and she has like a command grab where her head grows giant and she starts biting you <laughs> and it's like what she's like, like what the hell is her this fireballs like throwing dentures like <laughs> yeah so funny it looks like pe they just had like a ball making that game <laughs> yeah um but there, so there, there is like a Power Instinct Two. It's, it's called Power Instinct Two, but there's also like a um, what do you call it? There's like a another game that was like basic, like you know what they did with like Tekken Tag, where it's like it uses the same arcade board and like it's like ba like based on Tekken Three. Yeah, it's, yep. it's kind of like that. Like they they like extend like what you can do in in the next game it's called power instinct um well okay so the the name in J Jap japan is goketsuji ichizoku which is like goketsuji fan family or like yeah. goketsuji clan and so they called it like goketsuji like ichizoku gaiden and then in english they called it like power instinct legends uh, uh that was yeah. like the expansion of the second game 
Um, yeah, I, I, and that game was really fun. I actually didn't even know that it was on the PlayStation. Oh, right, they did. Yeah, yeah. Power Stick 2 was on the PlayStation. And I think they even had a mode that made it kind of like Legends, but not. it's not really. Um, they didn't have the gameplay in the moments of Legends. They just like, yeah. a second character. Yeah, and in Legends, it's basically. It's only arcade. It's arcade only. Yeah. I, I have an arcade board for it, and I brought it to Evo. Uh, with my fighting lair board, but yep. it was funny because like they actually already had a Power Stick Legends board installed there. So I was like, damn, there's like two Power Stick Legends boards in this venue right now. Like that's crazy to think about. <laughs> Probably the only place in America at that one time that that actually <laughs> would ever be a thing. Yeah, it's like pretty, pretty. I think it's a pretty rare game. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, th there's Groove on Fight after that, which is, like, actually considered the third game. And then fourth was, like, um, Match Your Melee. Yeah, have you heard that one? No, I it, have It was a Neo Geo game. So, like, that's probably the most, like, well-known version. Oh. Um, and it was made by, um, I don't know if it's the same developers, but, like, uh, this... The game the developer is called Noise Factory. I don't know if they like. I don't know if they like the same team that was at Atlas or not. But um, oh, okay. it, I, I think before it was like an in-house Atlas develop, development team. And they they made Maximum Impact One. Oh, Noise Factory. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I, I was just I I was as as soon as you brought up. Power Instinct, I, I, I'm on the Wikipedia page. Whoa. I just searched Noise Factory, and like it came up with all the games that they made. So I guess they made, like, you know, um, Metal Slug 5, right. yeah, K KOF did. Maximum Impact, which was like, you know, with, of course, SNK helping, uh, Metal Slug Advance. Um, but yeah, it seems like they work with. Um, SNK, Atlas, and when they were called Playmore, which is a really crazy, weird naming thing that they decided to do. But yeah, it, so it sounded like that, uh, like, Match Melee, or, I don't even say it. Oh, uh, Match Melee, yeah. Match Melee, yeah. I don't that, even know what that word is. <laughs> why, that... Man, the naming convention of this series is just so <laughs> dumb. It's so stupid. I I think the game is really cool, but like, how am I supposed to know that uh, Match or Melee is the sequel to Power Instinct? You just wouldn't. And and a lot. It's sad because like the the last game in the series, which I said was like like pretty much the best one. It uses sprites for like for, that were used in matching melee. So oftentimes people think that the last that they see the last game, which is like rarely, uh, they'll think it's matching melee. It's like no, no, this is like the best one. <laughs> you like matching melee feels like so like watered. Like it's just, I don't know. It, it just it feels like so much worse compared to the last game. <laughs> and they just have like no idea that's like. Man, there, there was, there was something after matching melee that was amazing. <laughs> like what? What? Like, literally none of it ever came to home consoles besides like, you know, before Groove on fight. And Actually, also, matching melee, I think, I think it doesn't get like the arcade archive releases because it was Noise Factory, I guess. Uh, um, you know okay. what those like releases? I don't. I don't actually. Um, Are you talking, talking like arcade bundle releases? Like, I, I don't know. There's like some. I think it might be like Hamster or something. Like this studio that like re-releases these are like Neo Geo games. Uh, and yeah. They do it for like PlayStation Four and Switch and stuff like. Or like even like you know PlayStation Five, so they're going to be like on whatever modern platform. Um, they're like individual like releases, so they don't, they're not like as a bundle though. Um, but yeah, they have like pretty much every Neo Geo game, but like except 
There's like four that that aren't like they don't re-release. -re um, I think it's like Rage of the Dragons and Matchup Melee are two of them because those are both Noise Factory, and I forgot what the other two were. Is it isn't um, uh, the Dragon game? Isn't it like a Double Dragons game, like a pseudo Double it's Dragons like? like somehow related double dragon because yeah i know two of the characters are like bimmy and jimmy or whatever their Bim, names yeah, are. Bimmy, bimmy and jimmy yeah billy and jimmy yeah billy and jimmy i, I think i keep I, saying I, bimmy and jimmy because there was like i used to play this game called battle bears and there was like a skin where there was like referencing that and they gave them like like not the actual names so they're like you know just berries or whatever they call um, him Bimmy and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, it's, they're called. Uh, he, he's called Bimmy because in the, if I remember correctly, in the NES version of Double oh. Dragons, there's a there's a typo in oh. the like entry of the game, and they say Bimmy and Jimmy. So that's why <laughs> I I'll like say Bimmy and Jimmy, and a lot of times people don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but like, um. But okay, so I found out like Master Melee is actually on the PS2. Right, there was a. Um, it's like, yeah, it's not the same exact game. Like they added like a character, and I think they ran. They they. Oh right, so Master Melee had on arcade, like uh, Neo Geo, had four Rage of the Dragon characters, and none of them oh. are on the PS2 version. Um, and then they added Angela, who wasn't on the arcade version. Angela was a Power Instinct character in the previous games. I think there might have been some other characters too. There's also a boss that they made for the PSP version. Oh. He's like based on a real person, because I think he actually might have funded the real the release of the PS2 oh God, version. That's weird. <laughs> He's like a kickboxer or something. <laughs> Kind of funny. I had a feeling that shit was gonna happen. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Olungan, yeah, Bobby, Bobby Olungan, or something like that. I uh, think he was like Ol famous. Like I think something that happened that he did that was like he pronounces like some Japanese words wrong, and like one time he did like he like said something inappropriate on accident. <laughs> I yeah, think he's I a about something about that. He's a. I guess he's a Nigerian-born television personality, mixed martial artist, Japanese citizen. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a interesting guy. He's known simply as Bobby. <laughs> That's what it says here on the Wikipedia page. <laughs> Speaks English, uh, Yoruba, and Japanese. The last game had... Um... A pretty big roster, I feel like. I don't know how many exactly, but like, I, I don't like when I was playing it. Like, I, I didn't know who to pick. Like, I was just like, oh my god, all these characters are so awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy was in K one. Sad. Bob Sap, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> the OD finish. Apparently, uh, Bobby has an assault uh, controversy. Oh shit! <laughs> I guess he assaulted some guy. Oh my god! That's crazy. Which one belongs to the Shibuya Police? Wait, is it wait? Is he part of Shibuya Police? What? Is he a police officer? That'd be interesting. <laughs>
Oh no. No. Yeah, man, I, I'm definitely going to check out, like, um, the Power Instinct series at some point. Yeah. There's a... Um, there's a guy in the U.S. who's, like, really good at them, but I don't know if he's playing video games right now. <laughs> I think he might be keeping himself playing those tabletop games where you paint them or something. <laughs> Warhammer or something. Like Warhammer, yeah. Yeah. I can give you his contact. Alright, he's called Roy Shark, and I'm pretty sure he still has a Twitter. <laughs> I don't know, he does, he does this thing often where he like, randomly like, just stops playing and like, leaves Discord servers and stuff. Like, he, he ran a, um, matching melee server uh, like, match your melee revival. And it was going well for a long time, and he just randomly, like, I guess, like, it wasn't active anymore, and he, he just, like, deleted it. <laughs> um, I know, like, some people, like, in FGC still, like, uh, talk to him and stuff. Like, it's not like, I don't know, I, I don't really know him too well, but, like, like, he seems like a cool guy and stuff, just, I don't know why he decides to do stuff like that. <laughs> uh, some people are just kind of flaky. Yeah. I guess it's like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Like, there's a guy who had um, this, like, Google spreadsheet um, that was, like, useful for, like, multiple things. Like, he would, um, for one, it had, like, the Discord, like, list of like list of uh, like fighting game discords um so people would submit them to him you have it and then um he also kept track of like it was basically like a a steam db like database for like just fighting games so he would like track um sales and stuff like sale history and stuff like that like this is the last time king of fighters was on sale for this cheap and stuff like that okay and then he randomly like deleted it and he would he wouldn't give like anyone like the the sheet <laughs> oh that's annoying yeah and so like most most people were mostly just concerned about the discords that were listed like how the hell am i gonna like find people anymore <laughs> So like for a while, like like there wasn't not like anyone who had like a copy of it, but I think like someone randomly like showed up with like a, a copy of the sheet. <laughs> so they were able, like, back machine or something. I, I think like well you know how like in, in in Google Sheets you can kinda like or Google like docs and all that, you can like add it to your drive or whatever. Um so I think someone I think someone had done that. Like a while ago, so I think it might have been like an older version of the list, but it's still usable. Cause like, um, you know, like sure you can like forum. Mm -hmm. They they changed like the name to like uh, Super Combo or whatever, and they so they they went they're gonna do a uh, Discord server list since that guy decided randomly <laughs> quit. That's like, not uh, um archive it or anything um but yeah it's all good now uh the, the list is bigger than it ever was before <laughs> i was looking up um like uh namco uh 246 motherboards and yeah they're like around like 300 200 you might be able to get one a little bit cheaper, maybe if you go on like Arcade Project and ask or something. Oh, uh, okay. And I, I was looking at, um, I think like right now I'm looking at like, what was it, Tekken 4? 
which is like $250. Uh, honestly, like, I, I hate when people charge that much for those games. So they're literally just like, the disc is not even like a special kind of disc. Like, it's not like a GD ROM or anything. It's like, it's really just like a, a 700 megabyte, like, CD. Disc. Yeah, you can like burn it CD. like a normal CD. Okay, uh, so, so like, I, I have special just... security or anything. Like, it's literally just a regular disc. Right, and because the thing is, like, it has a dongle that looks like a PS2 memory card, but actually isn't. It's like mm -hmm. different hardware. That's the part that's actually, like, what do you call it? Like, kind of unique, I guess, ish. Like, even the though actual they can't be rewritten. Game. There's like a guy on Arcade Projects that offers a service to rewrite them for like 80 bucks. Um, which I, I have heard some people are kind of like upset that like you haven't like released info on it. But I mean, you, you so yeah, you can you can just get a cheap Namco system 246 game or 256 game and have that guy rewrite it. Um, that's what I did when I first got STPV on arcade. It honestly looks like the base hardware is PS2. Yeah, but... based on PS2. I think it actually might be like there's like some extra like Namco like hardware on it that like isn't really like it, it pretty much runs like a PS2 except I think it might be overclocked. So it's basically so basically an overclocked PS2. I'm pretty sure it's just like an overclocked PS2 with like some like Namco I.O. stuff. Like, you oh, know, okay. like for the controls and video output and stuff like that. I won every round with energy field. <laughs> <laughs> that one is too good. It's like a, it's like probably the best move in the game, honestly. I mean, you know, at least it's not a level one. <laughs> yeah. Constant little bar. Uh, you get bar so easily in this game. 17 gets bar so easy. Oh, Did yeah. You, which all the, I use the, the DP move. <laughs> get all the oh, hits. yeah. That's, yeah. And then, like, the juggle combos that just keep them up in the air forever. You just keep getting more meter. Round one. It looks like uh, you could buy like a JAMA board for it, but I've never actually used JAMA, so I've never f with JAMA. I've always just used USB or you know, whatever the actual. But it has. Um, are you familiar with JBS? What? Are Are you familiar with JBS? No. It's like a different standard um, set of JAMA. It came later on um, for like the. 31 like kilohertz systems mm -hmm. usually like the ones that are like higher res like for, uh, 10 EP and stuff um it uses like a usb like usb type a connector mm -hmm. but it's um yeah it can carry stuff like the video um wait not a video? No, I think it might be just for controls. Um, because on those systems, usually they'll have like, um, what do you call it? You'll see like on that system, there's like a VGA inputs for the video or output for the video, and also like RCA um, for the audio. Yep. So it's it's pretty easy to set up like um like you can use one of those um like PC CRTs like that are like the VGA ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like amazing. I actually used to own uh like a like an L C D that had like a VGA in. Yeah, you could probably yeah, use I, that. I kinda regret th I threw it out. Hmm. I regret throwing it out though. Just because yeah, I, I, I mean I didn't have enough space in my right. my old uh, my old room. Yeah, 
Oh. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going? Uh oh. Oh no, I thought I parried. <laughs> oh, well, I would have been dead if I parried anyways. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was just dead there. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Been so close range. I have a feeling like this cyborg Frieza is um, some kind of reference to Doctor Dark because. Not only does he use, like, all these weapons and stuff, um, he, like, calls out the names of them. And Frieza doesn't do that. Like, Cyborg Frieza does only. Um, so. <laughs> huh. Like, it, it's just like Dr. Dark. Like, Dr. Dark, you know, he does, like, explosive, dark wire. Like, he calls it, like, <laughs> he calls yeah. all the names of his, like, weapons out. Exclusive. <laughs> Man, I used to think Dark, uh, Dark, uh, Doctoring Dark was so cool. <laughs> yeah, I like him. Final round. Fight. Final round. Fight. I forget that you can change the announcer, the narrator. Got it. Yeah, you can. I like uh, having this Demon King Piccolo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mark who always has his on the uh, Vegeta. <laughs> I don't know if Heavy Soft did it, but he should put him on Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you notice that combo breaker I sent to Boo? Like on my cell game card? No, I don't think so. That's <laughs> funny. That cocky attitude is going to get you into trouble. Oh shit, it's already past one. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh it's it's about four AM here. Oh, no. Probably gonna gonna head to bed actually. But yo, yeah. it was fun guys. y'all have a y'all have a good morning. Thanks for joining. It was yeah, it was definitely yeah. fun. Peace out, y'all. Peace. Bye bye. Thank you.